Today we'll be checking out the Kingsman Gaming Vertex RGB DDR5 RAM kit. The kit that I have here is the 32GB combo clocked at 7200MHz and this is compatible with Intel XMP and AMD Expo profiles. So in this video I will be showing you how to install this and set it up to the fastest clock speed that your motherboard can handle. And we will also take a look at the performance. So this video was made possible by Newegg and Kingsming so a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. They were also kind enough to provide you with a $15 off limited coupon code and you will find a discount code and link in the description. The RAM kit comes inside a white box with some nice graphics on it to match the RAM kit itself. So here's what the RAM kit looks like and each one has a capacity of 16GB of RAM giving us a total of 32GB. I believe these only come in white and I have no complaints because this is going to fit with my PC theme that I have going on. On this side of the RAM stick you'll see Vertex RGB RAM and Kingsman Gaming powered by AITC along with some sleek and slanted lines running across. On the top section you'll see the Kingsman branding on the RGB and this design looks pretty nice. Before we install this make sure to double check that your motherboard can handle the 7200MHz clock speed and that your CPU can also support this maximum RAM speed. Otherwise you'll be spending a bit more money for a fast RAM kit without being able to use it to its full potential. So installing this is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you power off your PC and turn off the power supply. I prefer and recommend having the PC on its side to install the RAM sticks. But you can also do this while the PC is standing up, just be careful. So there are 4 release tabs that you need to press down on to release and be able to remove your old RAM sticks. Something to be aware of is that these new DDR5 slots have a bit more of resistance to it. So just make sure you have this straight in the slot and take your time so you don't end up damaging it. Just like with DDR4 RAM sticks, these will go in one way. So the motherboard that I'm installing this on has dual channels so I will be installing this on A2 and B2 slots. When you have successfully inserted these you will hear a click when the RAM sticks are set in and the release lever will have locked into place. Make sure to refer to your motherboard manual to see which slots you should be installing them in. Generally speaking most consumer motherboards are dual channel so you can go ahead and install it in slot 2 and 4 but I still recommend double checking with the manufacturer's motherboard manual. So I installed this on my main rig so I can use it daily and get a much better experience with it. Now the last thing to do is to configure the RAM sticks to run at its advertised speed so let's go ahead and boot into the BIOS. You can do this by turning on your PC and then clicking the delete or the F2 button when this screen pops up. Once you enter the BIOS, the screen may look slightly different depending on your motherboard model. If you are using an AMD motherboard, specifically an ASUS Strix board like I am, your BIOS screen will look similar to mine. To configure your RAM to run at its maximum speed, you need to enable the Expo Profile. On this motherboard, accessing the Expo Profile is straightforward. It's located on the left side and it reads DOCP and if you don't see this, it might say Expo instead. To enable it, just click on the drop down arrow and select Enable. This will set your RAM speed to 7200 MHz and all that is left to do is to save the settings. And you do that by clicking on save and exit down here. A prompt will then pop up showing you the changes so just click on OK and your PC will reboot and take you right into Windows. So once Windows loads up go ahead and launch the task manager. Click on performance and then click on memory. So you can see here that the speed on this is now 7200 MHz. And I have been using this RAM kit for the past 3 weeks and my computer has been very stable while gaming and editing videos. Now taking a look at the RGB lighting effect, this has some nice and vibrant colors and this is what the rainbow effects looks on these. On my computer I have a white, grey, black and blue theme going on so I changed the lighting effect to solid blue and notice that the lighting is not as strong when you have it on a single color. I wish the entire top section lit up a little more but with the lights off this looks good. Now taking a look at performance, the Kingsman Vertex DDR5 32GB RAM kit stands out with its high speed memory and low cast latency of 34, which delivers lightning fast responsiveness and seamless multitasking capabilities. So using the ADA64 benchmark, I got a read speed of 74,280MB per second, while the write speed was 87,023MB per second. The copy speed was 70,053 megabytes per second and the memory latency was 74.4 nanoseconds. So comparing this RAM kit with a loaded baseline using the Passmark software, this got a really high memory mark score of 3,901. But a lot of the RAM modules being compared to this had a speed of around 4,800 megahertz. The great thing about this RAM kit is that it comes with a 5 year warranty and that shows that they are confident in their product, giving you some peace of mind knowing that they have you covered for the next 5 years. 
Overall, the Kingsman Vertex RGB DDR5 32GB RAM kit is a top tier choice for anyone looking to take the PC performance to the next level. With its stunning RGB lighting effects and blazing fast speeds, this RAM kit is sure to impress even the most discerning users. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, a professional content creator, or just looking to upgrade your PC, the Kingsman Vertex DDR5 RAM is an excellent investment in your system's performance and aesthetics. 8 out of 10 would recommend. If you're interested in picking this up, I will leave the link to this with the discount code in the description. Alright, so that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech related content and I will talk to you on the next one.